I don't get it. Why are people just the way they are? Why are people so judgmental? Why are people so heartless? And why is it that people just want you to live your life the way they want it or the way, you know, they expect you to live your life? I believe you owe no one anything. You owe God how you live your life. And you owe God the decisions that you make and the actions that you carry out. God bless you. Believe me, you don't have to live your life to please any man. You don't owe no man nothing but love according to the word of God. A whole lot of people have had their lives all messed up because of what people think, what people say, what people expect from them. And at the end of the day, you know, they got really messed up. So I believe that the word of God should be a standard for living and a yastic for living. If you are a true child of God and if you are a believer, let the word of God be your standard for living. So please don't live your life to please any man. People will say, talk, people will say all manner of things, ill things against you. But as long as you know that you are living your life to the glory of God, you don't need anybody, you don't need anyone to live a glorious life here on earth. God bless you. Hello everyone, it's your girl Claire and I remain your girl Claire. Um, actually, I came out here to talk about something that has been bothering me for some days now, should I say for four days now or more actually. And um, I am the type, like I always say in my video, when I am upset about something or when I see something that... Um, doesn't go down well with me you know i just speak out because i feel there is always need to voice it out you know rather than just keep silent you know about those things that aren't right so i am actually um not at home right now i am somewhere close to the city and i just decided to come out to um a park here it's a park here and um, it's very quiet. I like, I just like um, the vicinity. It's very quiet. And as you can see, you only have a few people, some pedestrians, you know, just walking, you know, across, and some people with, uh, you know, their dogs taking a stroll. So I am actually out here to talk about um, the issue of. Um, Bran Jean. Um, Bran Jean is the brother of Botan Jean and um, I did upload a video about Bo um, Bran some days ago and um, after I uploaded the video actually um, I started seeing also some other videos that he already you know came out to make some statements actually that was after um the sentencing of amber geiger and um i have seen a, a, a lot of videos about him and the comments that people have been making and that is you know what i am not just um, happy about you know i am sick and tired of um a society or should i say a world where you know people are so judgmental and I am so sick and tired of um, people who are so hypocritical I am so tired and sick of people not just trying to mind their business you know or out there to just mess up other people's life through their words or through their actions or whatever way you know I am so sick and tired you know of the world that we are in today you know and what is going on around us you know and it's really um, sickening I would say and it's really giving me cause for concern you know that um, a family would be going through such a terrible time such um, a devastating time and people are out there to judge them to you know shade you know 
them and say all manner of things and throw stones at them i mean and lash out on them i mean it's really bad it's really terrible i am hurting you know i am hurting because i know what it takes to lose um a loved one and um i know what it's like you know to have people hurt you so deeply and so badly that sometimes you just feel like you know putting aside you know um christianity and you know doing what is not right you know against um god but because of the love of god i shed abroad in your heart and because you have respect for god and for his word you are like i can just go ahead and live in um unforgiveness and bitterness and resentment and all that so i feel so bad because i came across a lot of videos after i, I uploaded the video of branch you know and where he made the statement um, that he thinks you know they, they are not even holding on to the fact that this guy was trying to reach out to the gospel of jesus christ you know he was actually trying to tell this woman who committed this atrocity you know that irrespective of what you've done to me what you've done to my family i know that god can still forgive you if god can forgive me so people are leaving out that part and all they are doing is trolling this guy on the internet and saying all manner of things i mean i think um the, the problem that our world you know has today or should i say the problem with people today is you know people are taking advantage of the social media um, in a negative way moreover it's supposed to be the social media should be a place of positivity you know i've also made a video about you know that a long time ago it, sh it should be a place of positivity you know but it's like people are trying to use it as as a place of negative influence which is wrong you know so i feel so bad about it that this family is devastated this family is actually going through some difficult times this family is going through some hard times and people are out there saying all manner of things that, you know i mean this is his own brother he's not he is not their brother and if he feels that this is what his brother would you know would love or would have done you know or was the best for the family why would anybody just go about being judgmental about what he did why would anyone try, start you know throwing stones at him for for his statement or for what he said to this woman i mean this is his decision i think we need to come to that point you know where we respect other people's decisions where we respect other people's opinions i mean this is what this guy wants it's for him and his family they just want to be at peace with god they just want you know to put behind them whatever it is that, are, that has happened because when you lose a loved one it's not easy to get over it you know it's not that easy people might not understand you know what the family is going through right now why am i saying this i don't know this family but i am so proud of you boy i am so proud of you brand i, I mean i pray someday you come across my video but even if you don't come across my video i just want to tell you that you did the right thing boy by not trying to listen to people or trying to please people you pleased god and that is what matters in life i always say if you know that you are living your life to please the almighty god because it's god that you will stand before someday and not men and when it's time you know for you to go back to your creator i mean you you are not going with anybody so this guy wants to find peace i mean he was doing what he was doing because that's what the word of god says and people are only taking the part of i love you and you know he, he him hugging amber geiger you know as you know that he went to an extreme he went to the the, the, the extreme doing that who are you to to tell if he went to an extreme or not is his life is his opinion he, that is his decision if that will heal him if that will heal the family of w the wound you know that this woman has inflicted you know on them why not this is their life people should respect it i am so sad and i am so sick of people you know trying to hurt other people who are going through difficult times someone is going through so much right now i mean it's a year ago but i mean it doesn't heal that fast
it doesn't heal that fast and this family is really broken and people are out there throwing shits at them and saying all manner of things about them that why would he go ahead and forgive her that means you know anybody can come up and shoot your loved one and you go ahead and forgive wait till they shoot him too i mean i, I was seeing all those statements and i was really sad and i was actually like i just felt like you know reaching out to those people one after the other who um we're, we're, we're throwing you know stones at, at, at this guy you know trolling him on the internet that's very bad he's going through some devastating times people need to be there for this family i don't know them but i feel their pain i feel their pain and i believe that brand did the right thing brand i am here to encourage you i am here to say boy heaven is proud of you and believe me brand both of them is proud of you and god our father is proud of you because you did the right thing and nobody can change the fact that you did please god it's all about the word of god it's all about it's not every christian that can do that i mean when I watched that video, personally, it's really blessed me. It blessed me. I was touched. So why would people, I mean, people have said all manner of things. People, if, if you go watch some of the videos, you know, he did, you know, after um, the, the court center scene of um, Amber Geiger, you will see people saying all manner of things, you know, a whole lot of blacks are against him, even the white community, they are against him and you know, people are saying all manner of things. They should just let this poor boy be. I mean, I am so sad. And as long as I'm on YouTube and I say, it doesn't matter if it's my family or not. You don't come after my family like that. You know, you don't come after my sibling like that. You don't come after anybody that I care about like that. Because he is not my sibling, but he's my brother in the Lord. Because I also, um, you know, made a research. You know, I did make uh, a research and I found out that his brother, Botham, was the type, you know, who was living his life to the glory of God. He was a, a, a guy who had a relationship with the Lord Jesus, who had a relationship with, with God. So if this boy decides this is what I want for my own self, because he's doing that for his own work freedom he's doing that you know for his future i even watched one of his interviews after the first sentencing where you know he was being asked you know some questions about the hog and all that the, the statement he made in the court and he was like he did that for his future and that's the truth because if you don't let go of the past you can't launch into your future if you don't let go of what has happened in the past you can break through so i mean this guy so, some people are very fast at forgiving while some people it might just take some time before you forgive people who have you know wounded you so deeply but for the holy spirit to like you you know reach out to this guy irrespective of the magnitude you know of the offense that this woman you know committed against him and his family if he's saying I am making peace with you he was only trying to make peace with the same person who you know inflicted his family um, with so much pain you know so I think people should learn to let other people be because when I see people who are just out there to judge other people you do it like this is not right you do it like that is not right you 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 know you do it the other way around you can't please people you can't please the world so people should learn to mind their business and people should learn how, how not to you know break people who are already you know broken rather we should be there to uplift people we should be there you know to uh, be our brother's keeper and just show love to it's not only to people who are hurting to people who have been devastated because I I knew I was there was a time in my life when I was down in the valley and the only person who was there for me was the Lord so I mean people should understand it that this man wants to find peace with God the same God who has been their strength because when you lose a loved one, you know, people might come saying, oh, sorry and all that, but the heal, that doesn't heal you. That doesn't, you know, smooth the ache that is there. It is God to heal your heart. So I believe that God put that in his spirit. And as long as he has done what God wants him to do, 
boy i wish you all the best you know i just wish you all the best in life and i just pray that through your video and through your statement that a whole lot of people will let go of the past a whole lot of people will just learn to forgive those who have you know done them wrong and begin to you know see those people in the light of god's word i know it's not easy to forgive people who have um done so much wrong to you who have really afflicted you who have really hurt you deep down but it takes god you know to let go so i am actually angry you know i'm really upset because i saw some of this i am very, someone who is very emotional so when i saw most of the comments you know it's like a thousand comments for example and you have like over 800 comments you know being trolls at this guy you know be, being negative comments you know made against him just because he hugged her you know just because he said i forgive you and i love you i mean they forget the part that he said i think the best thing would be you giving your life to christ i mean that was the message of salvation and that was all i needed to hear from you grant you know that you even reached out with the word of salvation with the gospel of salvation top guy you did the right thing so irrespective of what anybody says god's validation is what really matters so i am actually out here to voice that out because i'm not happy about it people need to start using their time you know for something more important people need to use their time you know for something more valuable than come out on the social media to throw stones at people and you know do all manner of evil so with you know their words and try to afflict people you know with wounds on the social media so that is actually what i came here to say so to my subscribers i just want to say big thank you to every one of you who has been there for me please keep on supporting me keep being there for me and i mean just keep doing what you've been doing for me i love you and god loves you jesus loves you too and we will see you again in my next video i actually came out here to do this video because this is a very quiet place and i just like you know <laughs> you know the fact that it's very quiet here so i decided to come out here to do this video even though i'm actually um around the city i just you know came out to a very quiet place where i can reach out to someone out there so i mean we live in a world that's very judgmental if you do it this way people are not uh, happy whatever you do you can't please people i mean people should learn to mind their business leave people alone it's their decision is their decision if i decide for example to go on low cut you know why i i decided to you know cut my hair you don't know the reason so why would you judge me for it for example i am using that as an example if i decided to wear a pullover you know or or, or wear um a yellow dress for example it's not your problem it, 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 why am i wearing a yellow dress why do i have my hair cut why do i have uh, you know uh, um, this or that on it's not your problem let god judge us all for me he did the right thing and i am so proud of him so people should stop being judgmental it happened in the in the scriptures too you know where jesus healed someone and his disciples were who sinned is it his father or his mother you know they just wanted to know oh is it because of his sin that he's in that condition you know or maybe it's because of his sin because of this that's why that's happening to him we, we, we still have such folks around us today oh maybe she's suffering or he's suffering because of his sin or because of that you know but jesus said to them it is for the son of man to be glorified it is for my glorification it is to the glory of god it is to the glory of the father so whose problem is it whether he was born that way or not whether it's his father or his mother it's not your problem god knows it all so that's my message today i am really upset you know but not upset with you my subscribers <laughs> i am just upset with you know the world we are in today and all the things you know that are going on in our world today but it's all good keep faith and keep living your life to the glory of god and remember don't judge people when you don't know their story 
get to know their story and you will understand where they are coming from god bless you and i love you we will see you again in my next video please stick with me and stay supportive i love you see you again bye bye